Vans, known as a staple affordable sneaker for anyone and probably has the widest spectrum in terms of it being styled from mall grab and posers all the way up to the high fashion runway. This is probably a sneaker that you have yourself and I'm going to show you how to style it, at least the way I would. Take what I have to say with a grain of salt, fashion is subjective and you go do you. We're gonna be covering all the models and how you probably have the wrong pair of Vans and of course how to style it. And yes, I will be holding up a pair of Vans this entire video because I feel it's necessary. So let's talk about the models. There are four popular models, the Era and the Authentics, which are the more summery type of sneaker. I always just pick up the all white ones every year and they're pretty much the same exact model in terms of design with light minimal difference in cushioning and support and all that. So I just categorize these as one. Then we have the old schools. You guys probably have one of these pairs as this is the most popular out of the bunch, which you'll also see derivatives of like the Kyle Walker Pros. Then we got the slip-ons, which is a laceless simple silhouette and is my favorite out of the bunch and finally the skate highs which think of it like the Jordan ones of Vans. For this video we're gonna be sticking to everything but the skate highs mainly because I just don't own a pair but there is one point I gotta make every time I talk about Vans because it is that important. You probably have the wrong pair. You are not getting your money's worth if you buy the normal lifestyle model. For example, the slip-ons I've been holding the entire video, they normally retail for $50. That's hella cheap, hella affordable and this is why people love Vans in the first place. But oh look, guess what? There is a $55 pair? What is actually the difference? They look exactly the same, one's just $5 more. Well, the $55 one is the pro model and that $5 increase goes a long way. You're gonna get the Ultra or Pop Cush insole, which provides impact protection and general comfort. They have enhanced durability, so their canvas is a lot tougher and has a dura cap to make them last even longer. And all of these are for the purposes of skating, so if you guys are curious, Whenever you do flick tricks, you mainly roll your ankle and flick across the grip tape right on this outsole right here. And over time, it's gonna wear down because grip tape is basically like sandpaper. And eventually the rubber wears down and then you're gonna hit the canvas and then you'll pop a hole. And then this enhanced durability is what's gonna make the shoe last longer for that purpose. Which if you don't skate, I definitely recommend you try it out. So you'll find a new appreciation for Vans in general. I just landed my first backside big spin the other day on my vlog channel if you guys wanna check that video out. But for the regular folks, you guys can capitalize on this by having a longer lasting sneaker. It's way better for the environment, it's better on your wallet, and if you've ever said that Vans were uncomfortable, this is the exact reason why. This insole right here makes a huge difference. Also, I definitely suggest staying away from the comfy cushion ones as well, because that's $10 more instead of $5 more, and they don't come with the enhanced durability that the Pro models do, and I find that the Pro models are just as comfortable. It is your money though, so if you see a colorway that you actually really like and it's not the Pro model, it's not a big deal. But that's just your PSA, so your shoes can last longer, you'll be a lot more comfortable, and you can use it to skate if you so choose. See, I'll show you guys the difference. This is the Comfy Cush model, so I can't really skate these. This is the only one they had with the, the white tongue. The Pro model has like a, a black little elastic band, which I didn't really like. I like the contrast. But anyways, you'll see that right here, this has the Dura cap, which is extra rubber for, you know, flicking purposes, versus the normal slip-ons, uh, the Comfy Cush ones with lackluster canvas. It's very thin. It's very thin and this one's a lot thicker for better performance and to make it last a lot longer. Now that you know which model to pick up, let's throw it on your feet and put together some outfits. So Vans, they reach towards each end of the fashion spectrum. Treat them like that. It's literally the most versatile sneaker in my opinion and it's going to go with any outfit of your preference. It's a great lounging sneaker or gym sneaker. I personally jump rope and lift weights in Vans because of their flat vulcanized sole. It's normally intended for better board feel but in this case, it's gonna be better floor feel. Great for your bigger compound lifts. Or it's a great simple silhouette seen in more niche genres of fashion like tech wear. You can see the checkered slip on Vans incorporated into the acronym Fall Winter 17 and 18 lookbook. And then everything in between. You got men's wear with their fitted looks, you know, with their fitted shirts, distressed denim, and a pair of old schools, or even a suit, which just shows how versatile they are, all the way to a normal streetwear look, you know, a hoodie, a sling, denim, and a pair of beat Vans. You've got plenty of options. For your next outfits, I encourage you guys, instead of your Jordan ones, or your Air Force ones, or even boots, Swap it out for one of these. And don't be afraid to beat these kicks up. Skaters literally destroy these sneakers. So don't freak out when someone steps on your pair of white Vans or if you step in mud, it's actually gonna give it some character. And beat Vans, in my opinion, just look better. So here's how I wear Vans. I'm gonna be wearing all the models that I have aside from the old schools because I left those back in New Mexico and I don't have the skate highs. And something I forgot to mention is that I just have the plain colorways because that's more for me. There are plenty of patterns and color blocked ones. Go crazy with it because these are affordable, hell. Draw on them if that's your thing. So starting with the Authentics, I've always worn these casually as the laces and the beaded look just give off those vibes. These are the white Authentics 
and these do have the comfy cush technology as I was testing it for the first time to see if I actually like it. Definitely would have just rolled with the pro model one. And when I first got them, I treated them like normal white crispy leather sneakers, but unlike those, these get dirty quick because of the canvas, so I'm always rocking it with a pair of sweats and a hoodie. For this fit specifically, it's a little more of a cozy casual menswear fit, so I went all cream with the Aloe Yoga sweatpants. These have a perfect fit similar to that of Fear of God and I'm really digging it. I might have to pick up more of these types of sweats. Uh, we got a sand hoodie from All Saints and a leather jacket from Uniqlo. The leather jacket I find adds a more not so casual cozy vibe, so that is why I feel like I had to do my hair and I wore accessories as well so it doesn't come off too late. Lazy. It's good enough for going out. I'll admit the Fog 7th collection gave me some inspiration. And this next one is with the Vans Chukka Pros. These are basically the old schools with a little more padding in the tongue area and some slight differences in its aesthetic. I'm going to be style this in a more quote unquote skater aesthetic. If you skate, you'll know that the Kyle Walker Pros are just a better sneaker overall. I hear a lot of good things about those, but I got these because they just go with more outfits and I can also skate them as well. So I've got a simple long sleeve shirt under a white shirt, 511 Tactical Apex Cargos, a pair of crew socks, and that's an ankle brace by the way because I sprained my ankle a few months back. So that may be optional for you. And now that it's getting a little bit colder, I'll be throwing on a a worker's jacket or a worker's shirt for a little bit of warmth. This is the type of fit you're gonna see a lot because one, it's comfortable, it's durable, and I'm not afraid to trash these items because you can't avoid landing primo. You're gonna fall. I really like this look because of the layering and the color combinations. It's quite the amount of colors, but because they are all neutral and earth tones, I find that they all complement each other instead of clashing with each other. And if I do know that it is going to rain later that day, Swap out the overshirts for a waterproof windbreaker and then a cap and it's the same color blocking but for a different situation. And the last outfits are with the slip-ons. So I have two of them, one in black and the checkered one. But really with any of these outfits, you can interchange any of these sneakers and the outfit's still gonna work. So this outfit will be composed with the black slip-ons. This is more of an out there outfit. Most people probably wouldn't like this to be honest, but I've been appreciating this look. The top is this corduroy button up from Uniqlo. I've really been enjoying shirts with this type of collar. I believe it's called a mandarin collar. I buttoned it up all the way and left the bottom buttons out so that you could see the color of the shirts that this is layered over. Underneath, I've gone on a plain olive shirt to break up the darker color palette. Pants are my favorite cargo pants, and that is a Nike Lab ACG Deploy Cargos. Beanie is a maroon color, kind of almost a complementary color to the olive, and an Orbit Gear face mask that also has a punch of olive, plus a sling bag from Orbit Gear as well. And another easy outfit would be an oversized slate gray crew neck. This one is from Talentless, and I've got on some slim jet black denim, not skinny by the way, olive crew socks, and a colored beanie. And if you want a little bit more warmth, swap out the shirt for a hoodie, and that's gonna work beautifully. This is a really easy outfit to throw on, great for those days you don't feel like thinking and you're gonna be letting the colors and the cuts of the clothing speak for themselves instead of relying on heavy heavy branding now this one does have some branding i just haven't worn this crew neck in a while but switching it out for the hoodie is just plain no branding and this is always a go-to outfit for myself and my black denim of choice comes from the sponsor of today's video Days of September. This is a new brand, so let me take a minute to thank them for sponsoring the video. So Days of September is a new brand and they focus all on the details. Have you ever had Selvage Denim? Well, if you haven't, let me bring you up to speed. Selvage Denim is an indicator to me for more effort and standards. And a quick indicator is to cuff your pants and see if there's extra material along the seam. There are grades of denim, as you guys know, fast fashion jeans don't last very long and the quality grade ones are well over $200. This is where Days of September comes in. They've spent the past two years working with many manufacturers to find exactly what they want. Selvage denim that isn't too stiff and is comfortable and affordable. These are stretchy, easy to throw on, and you can go about your day without feeling restricted. They go for the more slim fit look, which the ankle taper isn't super tight, so I wouldn't consider them skinnies. And yes, they still manage to keep that selvage inseam. And you can just tell how much energy they put into the design by all the little details. Their button is engraved with their logo. They have a YKK zipper system, recess rivets so your phone doesn't get scratched when you put it in your pocket, and the patchwork is a nice touch. These are very affordable and is now my favorite brand of slim denim and they do offer custom hemming to the half inch that way you can get the perfect fit. Go show them some love by hitting the link in the description and picking up a new pair of denim. And yes, these go perfect with Vans. Thank you Days of September for sponsoring this video. And that is a very simple breakdown of how I style Vans. I have plenty of other outfits if you guys watch my past videos. Let me know what your favorite model of Vans are. Mine are of course the slip-ons. I personally think they are better than the old schools. You can literally slip it on. You don't need to tie anything. It's just a simple clean silhouette. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytie. Make sure you check out Days of September 
and subscribe. I'm out.